She is just one of a thousand blind people we help from around the world. Crazy. Cleft palates, curing the blind, and the power of prosthetics. You asked for it, so today we are breaking down and reacting to all of the dramatic medical scenes from the highly popular YouTuber, Mr. Beast. Let's dive right in. 200 million people see the world like this, but I just made it one less. Oh. Wow. Wow. Mr. Beast discusses curing blindness. Sometimes people are born blind that cannot necessarily be cured because it's genetics or there's some sort of abnormality. She's just one of a thousand blind people we help from around the world. Crazy. They can't see, but we have all the technology to fix it. Yep. Half of all the blindness in the world is people who need a 10 minute surgery. I believe the blindness that he is talking about is simple, maybe medical problems where there's maybe a growth or or an abnormality related to the cornea that prevents you from seeing. If you're wondering how the surgery allows people to see again, it's because the lens in their eye got so cloudy that they can't see through it. Ah, so they're going over cataracts. When the lens of the eye gets so cloudy that you can't see. People have cataract surgeries all the time and they discuss how well they can see colors and how vibrant everything is and it's a very easy procedure. So the surgeon uses a tiny vacuum to suck up the clouded lens. It's not as simple as the description there of sucking up the lens, but it breaks it up into pieces and then it vacuums out pieces of the lens and the space is devoid and then they're able to put a lens back in. This surgery is that simple. They can see again. They're not necessarily blind. It just has to do with when light is actually shined in that really cloudy lens, they can't see through it. Can it get to the point where you can't see anything? Yes, but usually it has to do with the brightness of things has diminished significantly and the vibrancy of colors have significantly diminished. Our next patient is Charlie. You're not able to read any of this text on the TV? No. It's an yeah. E or center, I think. He won't know he won 10 grand until after his surgery. We actually use an eye chart called the Snellen eye chart. Depending on what size chart you have, it has to do with how far away you are from it. Usually do one eye cover the other one. Getting a reading then basically goes from larger down to smaller. So not only are we helping people here in America, but we're also going to other places around the world. Because unfortunately, nearly half the population with curable blindness doesn't have access to this surgery. So I wanted to provide this to as many people as possible. He touches on a good point that we have people that that don't have the ability to get this care. There are a lot of outreach programs that are out there, not just Mr. Beast, that do work hard to try to get medical care for people, not just for their vision, but for overall health. This is the first out of a thousand deaf people that we're gonna help here again. And Very she cool. hasn't heard her mother's voice in four years. Can you hear? Wow. You have two major types of hearing loss. You have conductive hearing loss, and then you have sensory neural hearing loss. You have bone conduction, so conduction, versus the nerve itself that then identifies it and helps translate it into your brain. Oh, that's and nice. And even entire families hear their loved ones again. But why? So we just saw hearing aids being put in. But they are only a few of the 1,000 people that we are going to help hear again today. We got our hands on over three million dollars of cutting edge hearing ah, technology. There you go. That means that each device costs $3,000. Unfortunately, within the healthcare and medical system, things are a little bit harder, getting things approved. It works a lot different than just having the ability to have funding and be able to give these devices to individuals. Unlike old hearing aids, analyzing people's specific hearing needs and allowing them to hear again without causing any damage. Traditional hearing aids, meaning like, let's crank up the volume. So these specific hearing aids, basically, I identify the need of the individual's hearing to then take sound and pass it through the external auditory ear canal. Not something that I handle here in the emergency department. I used to watch them like a lot. Like I like- Used to? No, stop. Ah. Imagine living in a world where 80% of amputees are denied the care they need to live a fully functional life. Ooh. This is a saddening reality faced by those living in developing and war-stricken countries. Very true. On a global scale, the access to appropriate medical care is so bad. Just providing like a prosthesis so somebody can actually walk and have a normal life seems super simple and easy, but really hard to come by in certain areas of the world. The heart of Cambodia and Southeast Asia 
where Darren met with Tom Sauce, who is one of the 40,000 amputees that live there. It's this reality that has brought Exceed Worldwide in Cambodia to life. They've been providing amputees with free prosthetics and services for over 30 years. Most of us know, right, what a prosthesis is or a prosthetic, different types of materials and the shape or form uh, to function in a very simplistic way, whatever limb might be missing. They are who changed Tom Suss's life by not only providing her with a lifetime of free care, but also the education she needs to help thousands of other amputees just like her. They are getting to the point where technology is getting better to where they might have advancements in these types of prosthesis where there might be some neural connection and higher functioning within the device itself. So that's more to come. We are just about to witness San Caboy, a 59 year old woman, receive prosthetic legs and walk for the very first time. She's going to be able to stand up and walk. Now, she probably hasn't done that in a long time, so there's going to be some discomfort and growing pains with that. Might need to use assisted devices such as crutches or a cane or a walker at the beginning. We are going to be giving away around 2,200 prosthetic limbs to people who need it over the next year. So see how I had just previously discussed that putting these on, you need to then practice and learn how to walk again in the sense of using your muscles that you hadn't used in a while. 99% of people are born like this with a full ability to breathe through their nasal airway passage. However, the other 1% looks like this with a cleft lip or palate. Cleft lip, cleft palate. We actually do obviously have this issue in our country as well. There are different surgeries that can repair this. Basically, it's when a baby is developing these structures within the face itself do not fully form appropriately. Which makes life terribly difficult for these children as they grow up. In poorer areas, there is no way for many of these people to get health care. Eating becomes an issue because could the food get into your airway and then vice versa? Is there an issue relating to breathing in air into your stomach via your esophagus? These are the things that these individuals have to worry about. We decided to pay for over 100 surgeries. One of my favorite moments in a surgical program it's when the kid comes out of surgery because this is the first time that the parents are going to see the kids with the surgery. These surgeries are complex in the sense of you know, restructuring somebody's face and bones. It takes a team and a lot of different people involved to be able to make this happen. And on top of these extraordinary surgeries, Operation Smile also provides all of their patients with free speech and vocal therapy. Speech, vocal therapy, and it just has to do with the fact that the way that your tongue moves in your mouth is supposed to be related to a symmetric smooth palate. They did not have that earlier. They will learn how to speak clearly and fluently. Full recovery, uh, healing of the wound, maybe around three weeks or so, maybe a little bit longer. And if they're young kids, you have to do other devices on their body, maybe relating to their arms, so they don't rub and pick at the wounds and the stitches of the face so they heal appropriately. This is obviously amazing that Mr. Beast and his philanthropic organization is able to provide all this care for individuals in the United States as well as on a global level and to be able to get funding for this. If you guys enjoyed this and you wanna see more. Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, definitely check out this playlist, binge watch everything, and as always, do me a favor, subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching, and stay healthy, my friends.